I'm going to show you a quick little way to add a watermark to your images so that it's harder for people to take and copy your work. All right, as you see, I've already brought up my image right here, and I have a logo already prepared. So I'm just going to pop that up right now, and I'm going to come over here. I start with a black silhouette of my logo, which you can just uh, put your logo up and over here in the effects uh, under your layer, double click it. You can add a color overlay of any color. Uh, I chose black, which you can see you can do it in any color. And uh, after which I uh, got the color that I had wanted. I went ahead and rastercized that, and you can rastercize it over here in the uh, layers right there, uh, layer style, and uh, go ahead and do that. Once you have that, there it is. I came back over here to the layers. I chose to overlay it, and then once again, I put an effect over here by double-clicking my layer. I came over here and put a dropped shadow on it uh, so that you can you can do that. You can make that shadow as big or as prominent as you would like. Uh, you can make it as high up as you would like or uh, more on grounded on the paper there. Uh, the size can go anywhere. Uh, I chose to make it real significant so the lower you have it sit on there the more significant that it is. Uh, there it is. Go ahead and you can save that now uh, as a low res uh, image and then put it up on your website or whatever and show it like that. Now you can also save uh, this particular exactly how you like it. You can save that as a ping and then just uh, whenever you have a image that you're wanting to do, you can just come up here to file and choose uh, place embedded and go to your file where you are going to keep your logo and then place it on the top of any image and it's already prepared and done with your shadow or however you want to do it. Also, if you didn't want to go the shadow way, uh, you can go ahead and just come over here, click it on normal, like this, and come over to your opacity and fill area and uh, play around with that, uh, you know, as light uh, as you want it, uh, you know, where you can see a little bit more of your logo. Uh, maybe you want it dark. I like the other one because you can see the pattern through it. Uh, so, you know, it's important that your customer can also make an informed decision as to what they're buying and they like the pattern work or whatever. So that's just my personal preference. All right, I hope this helped. Talk to you later.